Leaked New Female Robot Weekly Boston Dynamics News You may have heard of the world's most dynamic humanoid robot, Boston Dynamics Atlas, which is a research platform designed to push the limits of whole body mobility. Atlas's advanced control system and state of the art hardware give the robot the power and balance to demonstrate human level agility. Wondering what else is in store for you when it comes to Boston Dynamics? Say no more. We have for you today the latest developments from Boston Dynamics. Weekly Boston Dynamics News Hyundai Motor Group completes Boston Dynamics acquisition. Hyundai Motor Group, Boston Dynamics, and SoftBank Group Corp. recently announced the completion of the group's acquisition of a controlling interest in Boston Dynamics from SoftBank, following the receipt of regulatory approvals and other customary closing conditions. The deal valued the mobile robot firm at 1.1 billion US dollars. Additional financing details were not disclosed. Post closing, the group holds an 80% stake in Boston Dynamics, and SoftBank, through one of its affiliates, retains the remaining 20% stake. Boston Dynamics is the established leader in developing agile, mobile robots that have been successfully integrated into business operations of many of the world's leading industrial firms. Advanced robotics offer opportunities for rapid growth with the potential to positively impact society by making work safer and more productive. By acquiring Boston Dynamics and securing a leading presence in the field of robotics, the group takes another major step towards its strategic transformation into a smart mobility solutions provider. To propel this transformation, the group has invested substantially in the development of future technologies, including autonomous driving, artificial intelligence, urban air mobility, smart factories, and robots. Boston Dynamics, BTS, and Ballet it is through the intersection of ballet, boy bands, and battalions that we may consider Spots On It, the latest dance video from robotics manufacturer Boston Dynamics. The clip, which commemorates the company's acquisition by the Hyundai Motor Company, features quadrupedal spot robots dancing to Ionic I'm On It, a track by Hyundai Global Ambassador and mega boy band BTS, promoting the company's niche electric car series. In the video, several spot robots bop with astonishing synchronicity in a catchy yet dystopian minute and 20 seconds. The video opens with five robots in a line, one behind the other, so that only the front spot is fully visible. The music starts. A new agey cadence backed by synth clapping and BTS prayer-like intoning of the word Ionic. The robots' heads rise and blossom with the music, pliably shaping themselves into a wavering star then a helix, then a floral pose that breathes with the melodic line. Their capacity for robotic exactitude allows otherwise simple gestures, the lift of the head, a 90-degree rotation, the opening of Spot's mouth, to create mirrored complexity across all of the robot performers. Let's watch it now. <laughs> New York returns its police robodog. It seems that New Yorkers didn't want it. Earlier, the NYPD used Spot to defuse a hostage situation in the Bronx. When the video of the device went viral, its flexible legs and camera for a head design spooked people. The robot is quadrupedal, but doesn't actually look like a dog. A more immediate comparison is the armed robots featured in a post-apocalyptic episode of Black Mirror. This comparison spread rapidly on social media. The NYPD's secrecy worked against it. There was no public comment process for Spot, and residents hadn't known to expect to see robot dogs respond to hostage situations. In the Bronx borough where the hostage incident happened, where police respond to calls for service often, many residents wondered whether they'd start seeing the dog show up frequently. Importantly, Spot was not armed. The robot used cameras and a microphone to scout areas that may be too dangerous for officers, such as hostage situations. Mostly, the robots are used to investigate downed power lines or gas leaks. But the robot dog label stuck because it was introduced in the context of policing, in the middle of a nationwide conversation on policing, in use by a police force that purchases new equipment without public approval. Boston Dynamics said the company prohibits attaching weapons to its robots. 
In a statement Thursday, the company said, We support local communities reviewing the allocation of public funds and believe Spot is a cost-effective tool comparable to historical robotic devices used by public safety to inspect hazardous environments. Kalos, the city council member, has said that the risk of mission creep, plus increasing militarization of police departments, including more uses of drones and robots in public health settings, meant it was time to act proactively. I have no problem with using a robot to defuse a bomb, but it has to be the right use of a tool and the right type of circumstance, he said at the time. Ultimately, Miller, the NYPD's deputy commissioner, leaves open the possibility that the NYPD could one day use Spot again. Still, the city it returns to will be one that's very different from before, with a much larger understanding of both robots and how to tame, or, if necessary, terminate them. DHL Supply Chain Invests $15 Million DHL Supply Chain, the global and North American contract logistics leader within Deutsche Post DHL Group, announced a $15 million investment in robotic solutions from Boston Dynamics, the global leader in mobile robotics, to further automate warehousing in North America. The companies have signed a multi-year agreement that begins with equipping DHL facilities with Stretch, Boston Dynamics robot specifically designed to automate the unloading process in distribution centers. This agreement is the culmination of strategic collaboration between the two companies over the past few years as Stretch was being developed and tested. Boston Dynamics will deliver a fleet of Stretch robots to multiple DHL warehouses throughout North America over the next three years. The deal with DHL marks the first commercial purchase of Stretch, which was unveiled in 2021. The investment is part of DHL Supply Chain's accelerated digitalization agenda, a strategy for developing and scaling innovative solutions and new technologies. Stretch will tackle several box-moving tasks in the warehouse, beginning with truck unloading at select DHL facilities. Following the first deployment, the multi-purpose mobile robot will handle additional tasks to support other parts of the warehouse workflow, which will effectively automate warehouse operations. Stretch Robot now available for commercial purchase. Boston Dynamics has also announced that Stretch, its newest robot designed specifically for warehouses and distribution centers, is now available for commercial purchase. Part of a new generation of mobile robots, Stretch is one of the most advanced robots in the world today. First introduced in the spring of 2021, Stretch has been in pilot testing with a select group of customers over the last several months. All units scheduled for 2022 delivery have already sold out, thanks to strong demand from those early customers, which include DHL Supply Chain, Gap, H&M, and performance team Amers Company. Boston Dynamics is now accepting reservations for 2023 and 2024 deliveries. Stretch is a versatile mobile robot that unloads floor-loaded trailers and containers for safer and more efficient warehouse operations. The robot works with a wide range of package types and sizes, from standard brown to highly graphical boxes, and can handle cases up to 50 pounds. With advanced mobility and a footprint the size of a pallet, Stretch is built to maneuver in and out of trucks and tight spaces in a warehouse. The robot is an easily scalable, autonomous solution that can be installed and ready to work within existing warehouse infrastructure in just a few days. Spot spotted exploring the wreckage of SpaceX's exploded rocket. Boston Dynamics robot dog Spot has been seen wandering the wreckage of SpaceX's failed Starship prototype. The test of Starship SN10 was the first major flight test of SpaceX's prototypes to land on the launch pad, with both SN8 and SN9 crashing upon landing. However, the landing was not a complete success, as the rocket exploded 10 minutes later. While it is not yet certain what caused the issue, experts have hypothesized that it was due to a rough landing combined with a methane leak. It is unclear what specifically SpaceX is using the robot dog for, although it appears to have been renamed Zeus according to the released videos. It is likely the mechanical animal is fitted with cameras and sensors, moving through the testing facility to ensure its safety. One tweet showed SpaceX crews conducting vehicle inspections and cleaning up debris, as well as examining the damage caused to the engines, with Spot standing alongside the human engineers. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.